Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft, 3 Storm Fitness here. Uh, this is the too long didn't watch version. Uh, somehow I made this video to be 10 minutes long. Um, and I do talk about a few little tips here and there that are beneficial, perhaps, maybe even entertaining. But just a couple things I want to address. Um, first of all, the recipe, short and sweet. Check the description. I'll put like the detailed the details about it. The beauty of this, however, is that there aren't many. Literally just dump three to five pounds of chicken into a big crock pot. A jar of marinara, put it on low for eight hours, give or take. It's really hard to screw this up, and you got yourself, in the case of three pounds, you know, uh, what, 250 grams of protein. Split it up however you want, between five and 12 meals, depending on how big you are and what you're doing. All right, another thing I want to mention is that the, uh, the camera gets really glitchy about halfway through. Don't know what's going on there, but I left it in there. It doesn't really matter, but just to let you know, I know that it's there. In the second half of the video, I'm whispering. I do eventually tell you why, but I forgot to early on. It's because my kids were asleep. All right, so enjoy. Thank you. Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft here with Three Storm Fitness. Ha! Ah, yelling in my house. And my outside voice inside. Hey, I want to, I, I just did a big, like a 40 minute protein frequently asked questions video. And I was talking about how important meal prep is. And I was saying that to get an adequate amount of protein throughout the day, it does not have, everybody wants to be like, it's so, uh, it's so hard, I don't know how to cook, or it's, um, I don't have enough time, or it's so expensive to eat healthy. You hear that all the time. It's, it's not. None of those things are necessarily true. You can make you can make either one of them true. It's also expensive. It takes a long time to eat like crap. Like this wonderful cake my wife made that isn't crap, but took her a very, very long time. Um, so uh, it was my son's birthday. We don't, we don't just eat cake around here for no reason. Uh, so I want to share with you the easiest possible decent meal you can make. I could get six meals out of this. Truthfully, you could probably get 12 if you wanted to. I'll eat five or six. So what I'm going to do, I just want to show you, I said, I think, I can't remember what I said. I, said, I think I said I could make 10 meals in 10 minutes or something like that, prep time, right, for 10 bucks or something like that. So this is going to be, this is a bag of frozen chicken breasts that's bought at Aldi, $5.49 for the bag, three pound bag. Okay, this whole bag contains 252 grams of lean Protein. You want to add, this meal doesn't really have much fat to it. It's going to be a, uh, basically pasta and chicken in a crock pot. Crock pot, best friend you'll ever have if you are cheap, lazy, and want to eat healthy. Um, you could just set this thing in the, in the morning. This, this will literally take 30 seconds, maybe not even that much. You could set this thing in the morning, walk away for, you know, go to work, come back eight hours later, ten hours later, it doesn't really matter that much, in my opinion, um, and, uh, and you're done. Okay, you could set it right before you go to bed at night, get up in the morning, divvy up your meals however you want, some Tupperware, some in the fridge, you're done. That's it, okay? So, I don't know if you want to time me on this, but this is how long it takes, okay? Frozen chicken, and jar of pasta. Throw it all over there. Just the whole freaking thing. Just dump it in there. You can add other stuff to it if you want to. You don't have to. I put garlic powder on everything. I'm not going to do it this time. Close it up. There we go. Done. Alright. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds to prep five meals, right? Five meals for a large fellow like myself. I'm about 250 pounds. So, okay, so we got... Uh, what, two, we'll just call this two dollars, I think it was less than two dollars. Two dollars marinara sauce, just a, a 24 ounce jar, two bucks, we'll round this up to six. So, five meals, 20 seconds, um, what's the math on that? Eight bucks. That's pretty good. It's pretty hard to beat. I don't think, now, Leslie, I know you could, uh, talk about this. It's tough. I, I, I'm blessed with that gene that allows me to just eat the same meal over and over again. I don't mind leftovers. The person filming right now, she um, she doesn't like leftovers, especially leftover chicken or chicken in general. So, yeah, you know, if you want, you could put three crock pots next to each other. They're not that expensive. I think this one, 
was 30 bucks when we got it. They're about 40 bucks now if you buy one. This is just a, literally a crock pot, crock pot. All right, you can just do an assembly line style. Crock pot recipes are a dime a dozen, and they're all real cheap. Most this won't take super is super fast, but most of them will take maybe five minutes. You might have to get a can opener out. You might have to dice something. Um, it's zero effort though. It's uh, one of Bachelor's best friends or whatever you say. Um, so if you don't want to eat the same meal over and over again, and you want to really batch this thing up, invest a hundred bucks in some crock pots and just set them up around your kitchen. Hit go or hit low rather, low and slow, and uh, and you're done. I mean, you might want to not put them on the same circuit. Uh, and I'm sure like a fire marshal, if you're watching this video, you probably have words of me leaving my house with three crock pots running. But, you know, um, disaster aside, it's a pretty good method. Okay? So, um, I'm going to probably throw some more recipes out there. Probably a few, few more chicken recipes that are almost just as fast and easy and cheap. Um, so, if you have any questions or you got your favorites, let me know what's up. A good rule is something oh. usually takes eight to ten hours on slow, low, or four to five on high. Ah, thank you. Eight hours to ten hours on low. I'm going to come back. It's two o'clock p.m. right now. Ten o'clock right before I go to bed. I'll edit this thing, and I'll show you how I scoop it out and put it into a Tupperware container. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, guys. It's all done. It's, uh about 10 o'clock. It's been almost 8 hours. So let's check on it. I've actually been checking on it. Stirred it a couple times. It's not absolutely necessary. But, um, yeah, you know, it's a nice and tender chicken. It's not the best thing you've ever had, but it's a nice Italian Italian dish. I have also, um, like I said, that's a 252 grams of protein there. Um, I also made a uh, thing of rice here. This is just a rice cook with rival. Bucks, simple rice cooker, really easy to make rice. I just made two cups of rice. Um, well, you left it out, so it's. <laughs> yes. um, two cups of rice, dry. Two cups of measure dry. So basically, I just do this, cut it up. Like I said I want to cut this into five servings, so I just cut this, you know, five ways. Something, uh, something like that. So what I'm going to do is, you could measure it out and weigh it and everything, but because I'm going to eat it all in, you know, two days' time, I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm just going to scoop one, one, two, two, and so on and so forth. And it's going to kind of all work itself out in terms of the, um, the equal spacing. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's... Serving of rice, scoop out a serving of chicken, right? That's one rice. I mean, it's pretty simple. You really don't have to watch the rest, but camera person's here and everything, so you don't mind, do you? I love it. By the way, we're looking at about 50 grams of carbs per serving. And 32 grams and a quarter cup. Yeah. Now I'll probably put some Parmesan on this. You can also like cover it in olive oil first before you put it in if you want to. By the way, I'm whispering because my kids are asleep. a loose definition of whispering. I'm kind of growling. <laughs> and, and like I said, I mean you're basically watching me scoop. That's it, right? So now you just now by the way, um, one thing I've heard is that you know there's a little bit of rice left. One thing I heard is that I think you told me this, Peter, that if you put stuff in the Check your lids first to make sure that it matches up. It's a, it's a blue one, yeah. It's a blue one. 
You put stuff in the fridge right, uh, right after you cook it. It stays fresher longer. And um, I think I mentioned Stan Everything on this channel before. I'm a pretty big fan of his. This is a real practical advice from a gigantic, strong person. Um, he says that rice, you know, it's best to eat it. Um, white rice is great for, uh, this, this video is about protein, but white rice is great for quick digestion. Um, but if you leave it in the fridge for a couple of days, it sort of loses some of that uh, quality. So this is all total bro science here, anecdotal, but I'm pretty sure if you put rice in the fridge right when it comes out, it might save a little bit of that quality. Plus, again, I plan on eating this pretty quickly. I'm about to put the same lid on the same lid. <laughs> so that's about it. You guys don't have to watch me try to find the lid. But um, that's it. Rob Shoecraft, three store finish. Thank you, honey, for filming. And uh, in case I have crock pot recipes, I'll, I'll probably do like a smoker, one of my favorite super easy smoker recipes, some baked chicken, and then we'll maybe move on to a different type of meat. Maybe even a vegetarian dish. Have we ever had one of those in here? <laughs> Not one that you've eaten. <laughs> I like vegetables. Vegetables are very important. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Have a great evening slash day slash morning. <laughs>